You know, all the pressures that we talk about and, uh, you know, it's a good time to bring in Rahul Srivastava who's very well tuned uh, to uh, the politics of Uttar Pradesh. Um, you know, Rahul, for someone uh, who uh, knows UP politics by the back of his hand, I want to ask you a quick question. Mr. Sharan hardly looks the type who will succumb to moral pressure or a political pressure of any sorts, even though if it comes uh, from his uh, own party, which is the BJP right now. Yes, Preeti, he is not the kind who succumb to pressure. Remember that he wins the seat on his own and he eventually affiliates to a political party. That winnability element endears him to all political parties that he has been part of in the past. Now, the factor here is that if he succumbs to the pressure and gives in, that is an admission of guilt, uh, will be become virtually an admission of guilt. If the BJP, if the BJP is party or the government acts against him, it will be also mean that it is some kind of admission that uh, under pressure, uh, Saran asked to go, and eventually that's, uh, there is some sense of guilt. And at that, the kind of political fallout both are having. One, not asking him to go, because that is definitely hurting the Beti Bachao, Beti Padao, and the kind of posturing that the BJP has been doing over the last few years. But it is also feared that if, you, if the BJP and the government acts against Mr. Sharan, Mr. Sharan Singh, then it will be accepted that the, uh, a member of parliament from the BJP in Uttar Pradesh uh, has done things which do not, really, uh, do not really go well as far as the BJP's ideological position vis-a-vis -vis women is concerned. That is why I think there is some sense of space for Bhushan Sharan Singh to operate. Otherwise, in a party like the BJP, it's very difficult for a leader to get away with this. But we have seen increasingly Sadhvi Pragya, uh, uh, Mr. Taney, Ajay Taney, and now uh, Bhushan Sharan Singh. The BJP doesn't do what the Congress used to, that if there is pressure from the opposition, public uh, perception and others, the ministers were asked to resign. MPs were acted against. That but, doesn't happen you know, here uh, uh, because nobody wants admission of Right. Guilt. You know, I want to bring in... Rahul, stay with me. I want to bring, and I want to ask you another quick question right now as I also bring in Alka Tomar. Well, she's a wrestler herself, uh, as well as Amit Srivastav, my colleague who's been Bharadwaj. Amit Bharadwaj, who's been tracking all the details on what's going on inside where the players are concerned. I also still have Nikhil Nas. But uh, Rahul, very quickly, uh, you know, if I can get you in on this. The sports ministry, as Nikhil has clearly elucidated, really has no dibs. No stakeholders cannot really uh, sack him or ask him to step down. At best, just morally tell him that, you know, you should or advise him to step down. Having said that, the BJP would be, including the government, would be treading very cautiously this time. They don't want to appear to be anti-wrestlers, anti-athletes. They, you know, uh, 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 they went the other side in terms of perception when it came down to talks with, you know, the farmers initially when things started breaking down. They don't want a similar narrative to be woven by the opposition this time. I think, I think the BJP doesn't want to act in haste because usually when the, whenever it has been seen in the past politically when a political party acts in haste, especially in the Congress, UPA Time Preeti, we saw that it becomes, it, it becomes the narrative that, see, action has been taken by the party or the government and eventually there is a sense of guilt in it. And that is why, that's where, uh, that's why I will say that there, it might take a bit of time and see the kind of tactics that Mr. Brijbhushan Sharan Singh can employ is that if he wants to call a meeting and wants to take it to the Federation, he wants to have the meeting in Ayodhya. Now that's very close to him, that's his territory. And remember in this territory, mm -hmm. though he has been uh, at cross purposes and he has crossed his roads with, as far as Yogi Adityanath is concerned, these two leaders don't get along, still Bhujbhushan Sharan Singh holds sway right. in that reason. That indicates it might and that is what he wants to play on his own territory.